Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at VAT inclusive and VAT exclusive. We're going to look at the difference between the two and go through some calculation in how you can calculate VAT inclusive, VAT and VAT exclusive. So let's get into it. What is VAT? Well, VAT is the tax added to the cost of a product or service and is levied for purposes of generating revenue for the government. So the government is the one that sets the VAT or the VAT rate that is charged to goods and services that are vetable. Obviously, some goods and services do not have VAT because they're either exempt or zero rated. But here we're going to look at how to calculate VAT when you're given amounts. So VAT inclusive is the price already including VAT or value added tax. And VAT exclusive is the price excluding VAT or VAT. It's very important that you know that, that VAT inclusive is the one which already has VAT in it and VAT exclusive is the one without VAT. So let's go through some calculation. And the formula I'm going to show you is very easy and you should be able to remember to calculate it anytime after going through this lesson. So let's look at the calculation. What is the formula I'm going to show you? Well, the formula is the amount that you are given multiply by the percentage that you want and you divide that by the percentage that you have. We've gone through a similar lesson like this one before and after you check out this one you can check it out in the link in the description below which will help you even further but in this one here you should be comfortable enough of doing VAT calculations. So what does this formula mean and how do we apply it? Well if you are given an amount, let's say you are given an amount excluding VAT, you'll be told whether it's including or excluding VAT, then that's the one that you put here and if you have to calculate VAT you put the VAT percentage up here and and the percentage that you have is the percentage that this amount relates to. So if you are given the amount excluding VAT, that's the 100%. So let me explain here as we go through the calculation. Here is VAT exclusive, here is VAT, and here is VAT inclusive. VAT exclusive is always 100%. If you can get this small table here, this very simple table, you should be able to know how to use this formula and easily be able to do VAT calculations. So VAT exclusive is always 100%. VAT, in our example, we are assuming that VAT is at 15% as it is here in South Africa. And VAT inclusive is the 100% VAT exclusive plus the 15% VAT and it gives us 115%. So always remember that when you have VAT inclusive, if you're dealing with a VAT of 15%, your percentage will be 115 and VAT is 15% and VAT exclusive is always 100%. Now, if you're dealing with a different VAT percentage, if let's say your VAT is 10%, for instance, your VAT inclusive is going to be 110%, but your VAT exclusive always stays at 100%. And that obviously would be 10% in that case. I hope it's making sense so far. So let's get into some calculations. Here's an example. We are given VAT exclusive of 1000 Rand and we are asked to calculate the VAT and the VAT inclusive. Now we know that this 1000 Rand is the 100%. Now let's calculate the VAT. Well, what is the amount that we are given? We are given the 1,000 rand. So if we are going to apply this formula, we're going to put the 1,000 rand here and we multiply that by the percentage that we want. So if we want to calculate that, we put here 15% as the numerator and the denominator is the percentage that we have. What percentage do we have? Well, we are given the amount for VAT exclusive, which is already 100%. So here's how it's going to be. It's going to be 1,000 rand times 15% because that's the one that we want to calculate, we want to calculate VAT and you divide that by 100% which is the amount for VAT exclusive of 1000 Rand that we are given and we get a VAT amount of 150 Rand. I hope the formula is starting to make sense. Now if we have to calculate the VAT inclusive when we are given only VAT exclusive, we're going to take the 1000 Rand and we multiply that by the percentage that we want. Well, if you want VAT exclusive, we want 115%. So we're going to multiply that by 115% and we divide that by the percentage that we have. Well, we have the 100%. So that's how it's going to look. 1000 Rand times 115% because that's the VAT inclusive if we want and you divide that by 100 and it gives you 1150 rand alternatively if you are given vet exclusive and the vet then you just add the two together 1000 plus 150 rand gives you 1150 
Now let's look at the second example. Here we are given the VAT of 75 Rand and we are asked to calculate the VAT exclusive and the VAT inclusive. So firstly, we want the VAT exclusive. Now we know that since this 75 Rand is for VAT, we know that the 75 Rand is 15%. Now if we have to calculate VAT exclusive, obviously we're going to take 75 Rand and we multiply that by the percentage that we want. Well, we want the 100% because we want to get VAT exclusive and we divide that by the 15% because we are given the 75 Rand, which is the 15%. And there we go, it gives us 500 Rand. So it's 75 times 100 divided by 15 and it gives us 500 rand. So that's what you do if you want to get VAT exclusive and you're given the VAT amount. Now, what if we are only given the VAT amount and we have to calculate the VAT inclusive? Well, we're going to take 75 rand. We multiply that by the percentage that we want. Well, we want 115% this time. And we divide that by the percentage that we have, which is the 15%. And it gives us 575 rand. I hope you see how this formula works. It's quite simple in calculating VAT percentages when you are given one of them, either VAT exclusive, VAT or VAT inclusive. So let's do VAT inclusive this time. Here we go. We are given VAT inclusive amount of 2,645 Rand and we have to calculate the VAT exclusive and the VAT itself well we know that that inclusive is 115 percent so we're going to take the 2645 rand as the amount given and we multiply that by the percentage that we want well which one are we calculating first we are calculating that exclusive first so we're going to multiply that by 100 percent and we divide that by 115 percent because the 115 percent is the that inclusive that we are given that's the percentage that we have and it gives us an answer of 2000 300 rand now what about the vet let's say we are given the vet inclusive and we have to calculate the vet how do we go about doing that well we'll take the 2645 rand and we'll multiply that by the percentage that we want well this time we want vet which is 15 percent and we divide that by 115 percent which is the one that we are given of vet inclusive and it gives us 345 rand Obviously, if we add the VAT exclusive plus the VAT, it gives us the 2,645 rand. I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how to apply this formula in calculating your VAT exclusive, your VAT, and your VAT inclusive. Now, let's do three more examples very similar to the ones that we have done and see if you have understood this formula. Now, here we go. Now, what I want you to do is to attempt this question. Pause the video here and attempt to do it on your own. And after you have completed it, you can continue with the lesson and see if you got everything correctly. That is the best way you can gauge whether you understand how to do this instead of just watching it. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I hope you have done the calculations and you are ready to move on. So let's start. The first one, we are given 160 Rand, which is the VAT exclusive. And we have to calculate the VAT and the VAT inclusive. So firstly, let's calculate the VAT. Well, the amount given is the 160 Rand. And we multiply that by the percentage that we want. Since we want the 15% VAT, we're going to put 15. And we divide that by the percentage that we have, which is the 100% for VAT exclusive. And it gives us an amount of 24 Rand. What about VAT inclusive? Well, we'll take the 160 Rand, multiply it by the percentage that we want which is the 115 percent and we divide that by the percentage that we have which is the 100 percent and it gives us an answer of 184 rand so you can see here that the denominator the percentage that you have is the one for the amount that you are given okay let's move along i hope you got that one correctly if you attempted the question we have the vet amount of 45 rand and we know that vet is 15 percent and we have to calculate the vet exclusive and the vet inclusive so firstly vet exclusive well we are given 45 rand so we'll take 45 rand multiplied by the percentage that we want well we want 100 percent vet exclusive and we divide that by the percentage that we have which is the 15 percent for vet and gives us an amount of 300 rand what about vet inclusive we'll take the 45 rand multiplied by the percentage that we want which is the 115 percent divided by the percentage that we have which is the 15 percent and it gives us 345 rand and obviously again if you add your vet exclusive plus your vet it gives you the same answer of 345 rand 
What about the last one? We are given the VAT inclusive and we have to calculate the VAT exclusive and the VAT. So we know that VAT inclusive is the 115%. So we take the 805 Rand, which is the amount given, VAT inclusive, and we multiply that by the percentage that we want. Well, firstly, let's calculate the VAT exclusive. It's the 100%, which is the percentage that we want. And we divide that by the percentage that we have, which is the 115%. And it gives us an amount of 700 Rand. What about the VAT? We'll take the VAT inclusive of 805 Rand and you multiply that by the percentage that we want, which is 15%, and we divide that by the percentage that we have, which is the 115%, and it gives us an answer of 105 Rand. And obviously, if you add 700 plus 105 Rand, it gives you 805. So always making sure you are correct. You should know obviously that your VAT inclusive is always higher than your VAT exclusive. So when you do your calculation, always check for that to ensure that you did it correctly. I hope it has made sense. I hope you've gained value from this lesson. And if you have, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.